Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create a multi-step form using Elementor and PyopeNet. Actually, we're using Elementor but we are primarily using PyopeNet for this tutorial. You do not need Elementor Pro, which is a good one for you guys who do not use it, but I'm going to show you how to create something like this. So this is my website and it's a project planner for people to fill in their details for me to get more information about them and their project. They fill in the form fields and then they press next and then it brings them to another section of the form. So there is, some people say that these type of forms are good, some people say that they're not. It really kind of depends on on you, I guess, and your users. So it may be worth trying to split test to find out what form works best, like which ones you get more conversions from. Um, but I quite like the multi-step forms because it gives people um, less to focus on when they're going through quite a long form. So this is probably one of the reasons why you might want to use a multi-step form. And as you can see through each one, there is, or through each step, it's asking you different types of information. So who I'm, who I am, my business, my website, and then the details. So I'm going to show you how to create something pretty much like this. I'm going to obviously shorten it, um, but you'll be able to see exactly what I've done. So here I am in my setting screen for Pyatnet. Um, if you do not know what Pyatnet is, I've literally just done a video last week that talks about uh, PyoNet. The website link is below. So PyoNet is a developer add-on. It has, I call it a developer add-on, other people may call it something else, but I call it a developer add-on because it has loads of little features in there which are developer friendly, um, including the um, feature of, it has a form builder, it has a slider builder, it has some options for WooCommerce, it has options for sticky header. It has a ton of different widgets here that you can use in your um, designs. I use this as a go-to. As soon as I've added Elementor and I've added Elementor Pro, PyatNet is usually the next thing that I'm adding. So you would need to buy, uh, purchase a license for this. It's $35 for one license or it's $70 for unlimited sites. If you're a developer, then maybe the unlimited would be best for you. If you're only doing it for one site, then maybe the personal will be best for you. But honestly, $70 for unlimited updates and lifetime support, this kind of makes a bit more sense. So I would definitely go for that. Once you have installed the plugin onto your site, you would need to make sure that you activate the relevant features. So I'm going to just slide down here. It's got a WooCommerce sales funnel. I don't want that, but what I do want is, what are we looking at? The multi-step form right here, okay? So we want to have that selected and I, we just want the form builder selected as well. So I'm gonna click save and there we have it. So basically how this thing works is you need to create different templates and join them into one. So what I've done here is I've just gone to new and then template and I've added these two different templates. If I click on what I've done here, so the first one is who are you? If I click on this one, you would see that I have the form here. Now I'm not using Elementor Pro, I'm using just the standard um, PyopeNet film uh, field form uh, form fields. So what you would need to do is type in the word field, drag out the type of field that you want, and put in all the relevant information. Now PyopeNet works. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So um, how PyopeNet works is that you would need a form ID which would be the same for every single field. So the form ID is project here. On my email, it's project. On the phone number, it's project. And on the address, it's project as well, okay? So all I've done is, yeah, I've created this section. And now if I go back to the dashboard, 
and I go back to my saved templates, let's click on the website details. This is the other step. So here I've got my website URL and I've got a short brief, okay? And at the bottom, I've added the button as well. So again, all of these form fields are the same. It all says project. The field IDs though are all different. Okay, they are all unique. They all have to be different and unique to the actual form. So here we have our button that is uh, that says project and it says send your form and that's it, okay? Now, what we need to do is I've created a page here called multi-step form. And what you would need to do is just type in the word step and the multi-step widget comes up, okay? I'm just gonna pop that in there. And here it says, what is the form ID? Again, this is going to be project, okay? Then it asks us to add an item. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that now. First, we need to go to the dashboard and then we need to go to the saved template section here. Now, as you can see, each saved template has a short code on it. So I want to copy this and where it's got add items, I'm just going to add that short code in here. So the title, it could be whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna call it, who are you? And because it's the first one, I can just disable the previous button because we don't need that to show, okay? And again, I'm gonna add a new item, come back over to here, grab this short code, and I'm gonna put website details in here. I'm gonna paste that in there. And I'm gonna disable the next button because this is actually the last um, step within the actual form. So once you've done that, you've got other options here where you can click for it to scroll to the top. You've got options for what the button says. So instead of it saying next, um, you could put something else there. Um, you've obviously got your actions after submit. Again, that's what you would fill in. In the style, um, you get to, um, again, style how all of this looks, but I'm not going to show you how to do that because, of course, you know how to do that yourself. You just need to go through all the options and see which ones look nice for your particular design. And then once you've done that, you literally just press update and you should have your form. So I should, you should be able to put in all your details, press next, and then it goes to the next one and then you could just send your form and it says the form was sent successfully. Now, if you look in the back end, PyOpNet add-ons has a form database which you could use. And here is where all of your form uh, fields are. Now, I didn't put anything in here. So what might be worth me doing is just putting in some information real quickly. Um, just gonna put that in there. I'm just gonna send the form. Now, if we come in here and we refresh, you can see we've got a new form that's made and all of the information is down here about that particular form, okay? We can also export these if we want to, um, or we can just get rid of them if you want to as well. And that's it. That's basically how you are able to create a multi-step form using PyOpNet. So I hope this tutorial works for you. If it does, please share, please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.